Okay guys, now let's have a look at Pixel R and the Advanced Photo Editor. Now this is really nice. There is, I can think of a thousand times you'll use this. So let's start with Start Photo Editing. Now what I want is this full screen. Oops. No, I don't want it minimized. I want it the wrong button. I want it full screen. There we go. Much nicer. Okay guys, let's start looking at this. This is Pixel R's Pixel E version, the Advanced Photo Editor. Now let's start a photo editing project. You can see it comes up with all sorts of um, the latest projects that are there and there's lots of recommended templates for different things. And of course, all your templates are down the bottom there. So you can actually open a template for anything. But what I want to do is load an image. You can batch edit, you can do all sorts of things. Now most of my photos are in my Apple Photos directory. Not that one. There we go. Apple Photos. Now, we go up and find one that I took just the other day. Now there's a nice image there, that's on the seafront. So let's upload that one because there's some editing I want to do in that. Now I don't need it a huge image like that. The standard full HD image would be nice. Now if you're using it on the web, of course, use that one. And it loads a slightly different size image in, as you can see. Let's just go for the optional. And we'll apply that. And it opens up. Now there's the image. Now there's lots of things in this image that shouldn't be there. And I'm going to make this really simple by going up to the top left hand side and you'll see the heel, it's like a little band-aid there. Everyone has a band-aid at some stage or the other, you might get a splinter in your finger, put a band-aid on it. Now we go down here and you can see fairly clearly the circle with the cross in it. That's set at size 50, which isn't a bad default because you'll see in a moment. Now object, that one works, you can see that little yellow bar. If I had the premium version of this, then that would work nicely. And the soft, well that kind of softens the, the, uh, the way it's done. But I won't do that at the moment, I just want to use spot method. So let's go down here, and we'll start with the lady's foot. You just click on it, click on it, and it looks at the background behind the image and takes those bits of the background out. Now we want to get rid of that. Don't try and brush it on, just use the, the little crosshair spot there and that will slowly move by taking the background and replacing the image with the background. Now we're getting into some more detail here, so you'll need to be fairly careful by just taking out, you can even reduce the size if you like, because you can see that circle encompasses a fair area there. Let's reduce the size to say 25, 24, 26, okay, 26 is good. Let's not fiddle around with it forever. Now we've still got a little bit of the lady's head there. So you just take that out, take that out, and you can see the tree behind it. Now we've got a bit of road there, and we've got a dog here with a lead. Let's get rid of that lead if we can. Who's hanging on to the lead, I wonder? Any guesses for who's hanging on to the lead? Now what else can you spot there that we'll have to get rid of? I can see something in the in the well, in the mid ground there that we'll have to get rid of. And there it is. There's a shadow there, but there's nothing there to cast the shadow. So we've got to get rid of that shadow. And that's easily enough done. 
you just click on that, click on that, click on that, click on that, and there we go, click, 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 madly clicking away, and there it is. Now we've got that there. Hmm. How can we fix that? What we need is the clone tool. So let's find the clone tool. Blur and sharpen, disperse, sponge and color, spongy bob square pants, color replace, maybe, gradient, shape, picker, text. No, we don't want text. Of course we don't want text. Fill, pen, dodge and burn, focus and boat, clone. Well, let's see what happens when we use clone. How big's our brush? We want a pretty small brush for this. Let's say 15. Now, can you see what I did there? Now, there's a fairly rough path. We've also got to go up here. Now, I could enlarge this, of course, but the first thing you do is you go up to Source, click on the road, and then it goes straight to Paint. And you can paint in a bit of the road there. There we go, that's not too bad. The fence there. There we go, now you've got a nice image. And there's nothing in there. Now we're going to do the same with the dog. We'll click the source. You see that comes up and it says select source or paint shift. Okay, we want the source, which is the dog's back. Now it flicks to paint. See up the top there, it goes directly to paint. And we can select the lead that goes across the dog's back. The dog won't mind, I'm sure. Oops, sorry dog. And there we go. A bit more of the lead gone. A bit more of the lead. And I'm sure you can make that a lot finer by reducing the opacity and sample all layers and things like that. But at the moment, That'll do to demonstrate what we're doing. Now, as I said, you can make that dog's back a lot finer, but I don't want to do that at the moment. Now, what else have we got in there that we could remove? Well, the road's in the right place, but there's a little bit of there's a little bit going on there that we we've got to um, we've got to fix. Whoops, we don't want that. I want a view. We want to zoom in a little bit. Move that across there. Now we're still using the same tool, the colour brush. We want the source, which is the road. Now we can go just there. The brush is size 15, so it's not too bad. There we go. Those two little bits there have just been cleaned up. And there we go again. That's all there is to it. How simple is that for photo editing? Now, of course, what you can do is all sorts of other things. You can crop, you can liquefy, clone, focus, dodge and burn. Use a pen tool to draw things, you can erase parts of the image and you can fill whole areas with a single colour, which of course we don't want to do here. Frame and image holder, lots of nice things. Toggle home, there we go, we've gone back to there. Let's, let's just open that one again and there it is, you can see, not too bad.
the person's gone, I could probably clean that up a little bit there. And we want to unlock that layer so that we make sure all of those all of those um, areas take control minus and that brings it back to full size and you can see up there that the little red boundary is all around it while well, we want to save PNG image recommended easy how easy is that save as okay dog on the headland oh, silly come on G O G on the H G A B L A N D dog on the headland apply and that's just saved it and I can close that and that's all there is to it how nice is that photo editing at its best but I do want to close it. There we go. Job done. Now, that was a quick little exercise and I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel and I'd really appreciate it if you did.